Welcome aboard again. Today we're back to work on the bowsprit. I'm going to redrill the last hole, clean things up a little bit. I've got the uh, fitting on the end, but it seems to be stuck on there, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get that off without damaging anything. And I have my backing plates all nicely cut, but they have an issue, which I'll talk about later. So in the meantime, let's get busy. <laughs> Been another busy day down here at the boat shop. Uh, we're kind of one step forward, one step back, one step forward, one step back. I have filled the holes on the bowsprit once again. What I think is happening is the drill bit that I'm using is drifting laterally as I drill through the uh, the epoxy plug. So uh, this is the fourth time I've drilled it and that the holes just aren't lining up. Even when I use the spacer block as a template for drilling the holes, once the holes are drilled, they're, they don't go through straight. They're going through on weird angles. So I've refilled them. I'm going to attempt to re-drill it on a drill press. I have a couple of stands that I can use around the shop here. Hopefully I'll be able to get some Armstrong help to help manhandle the thing. If not, I'd I'll just do it myself and I'm going to buy a different drill bit. I'm going to buy a really long half inch drill, but they will go through the bowsprit all in one go. And that should take care of it. Awkward word being should, we shall see. So that's where we are with this part of the project. The other part of the project is the, is making the round end for the bowsprit fitting. This guy here. It has to be exactly round and it has to exactly fit. And I succeeded, but we ran into a smaller snag that I'm about to show you. So this is the fitting, the bowsprit fitting. It will go on to the bowsprit like that. But what I realized once I had created the round part here is that it's a little bit too short. So rather than recreate the tool I created to do this with, I thought I'd just scab a little bit of uh, fiberglass laminate plate on the end. Well, I did that a day or two ago, and I used the fitting itself as a clamp to hold it in place. When I took the fitting off, the fiberglass plate came off with it. It didn't stick to the wood, but it stuck inside the fitting. So then I had the chore of getting inside the fitting and trying to get the fiberglass out. I ended up having to use my fine tool and cut it into little pieces and try it out that way. Then I had to cut a new plate and I screwed it to the bow sprit with epoxy behind it. And hopefully that will solve that issue. It'll make the uh, peg long enough to fit to the end and I'll be able to sand it down, take the screws out once it's done. As promised, I told you that I would explain what's happening with my backing plates. These are the backing plates that I had cut from, this is G10 fiberglass laminate, it's supposed to be the toughest stuff. I sent it off to a guy who has a water jet cutter to cut it. And as you can see, it does a really nice job, perfect circles. Unfortunately, I don't know whether it's uh, an issue with this particular piece of laminate or whether it's just the nature of the water jet cutter, but it delaminated. You can see it just came apart. So these are backing plates and I could probably use them 
as they are, but I'm going to talk to the company that I bought the stuff from and see if they will send another piece. The uh, the guys that cut it, uh, some of the pieces work just fine, right? Like that's little brackets I was making for my uh, Bowsport platform, and these two these two backing plates. There's a little bit of delamination right there, but they look fine. But these guys, um, not what I paid for. So I'm going to have to talk to the company I bought it from and see if they'll do anything for me. And other than that, it is Father's Day Sunday afternoon. The sun is shining and the time is about four o'clock. So I think I'm going to pack up, go home and enjoy beer or something. So as always, fair winds, fall on seas. God bless. The other part of the project is the uh, the other part of the project